Right, hello everybody and welcome to what I think is part five of putting our um, journal together. We're going to be putting the signatures in today and um, although I've called this a simple journal, simple junk journal, I'm not going to lie, this is probably the hardest bit to get your head round. Um, and we're doing a hidden binding, so mm, arguably slightly trickier, but not not greatly so. So the first thing I do at this point is make sure my signatures are all paper clipped together in the right order. Um, I check that the pages are the right way up because it's very easy at this stage to get that wrong. And to paper clip them together, I've got my thumbs in the creases and I'm just simply holding them steady, popping the paper clips on. Ones joined together. I quite like using the longer ones, but I haven't. Um, I've got a mixture in here, so that's our first one. So we've got one, two, three, four, five. They're all the right way up, and they're all fastened together um, as tightly paper clipped together as I can. I've then got um, two pieces of card, which are two inches by seven inches. Seven inches is the height of my pages and two inches is the width of my spine, two of those. And I've got a piece of fabric, which is seven, just over seven and a quarter by four inches. And that just fits nicely in there. I have cut these edges off, um, but I've left the slightly frayed edge top and bottom. So we'll come back to that shortly. Two, um, now I've got to work out we're going to stitch these in. Um, so we need to work out where we're going to put the stitching holes. And this is how I do it. Well, this is one way that I do it. I do it various ways, actually. But this is um, a relatively simple way, if I can work it out while, um, while I'm doing this. So because we've got five signatures, we want one in the middle. So that's going to be, I'm just using a scoreboard and I'm going down at one inch. And then we want two more signatures either side. So two inches to me is quite difficult to divide into five or, or six spaces. It may not be, I don't know. But I just look at how many of these little things I've got. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I'm going to do one at three eighths from the side. So I'm going to go from this one inch, I'm going to go out three eighths and do a score line. And then I'm going to do another three eighths, one, two, three. And the same this way, one, two, three. One, two, three. Sorry, I just need to hold this in place. So our signatures are going to sit on these lines. Um, the gap here and here is going to be slightly less. Um, I could have gone quarter of an inch, three eighths of an inch, so they were slightly unevenly spaced, but I think that'll be fine. Then I'm going to turn this round and I'm going to do um, crossway ones. So I'm going to go halfway three and a half and I want my um, I'm going to sew in with what I call a five hole pamphlet stitch so I'm going to go down to here and I'm going to go up half an inch from the bottom I'm going to go five eighths one two three four five and the same here and then somewhere in the middle of this um, and I'm just looking at this by eye really so I'm going to go there, which is one inch, one, two, three, one inch, one, two, three. So that's our grid, really. So our holes for our stitching is going to be in each of these little cross places. OK. I mark them because I want everything as even as I can. So I put a tiny little 
pencil. Sorry, the light's shining so I can't see very clearly. I've already got my head in there as well. Sorry about that. I haven't combed my hair yet. Okay, so we've got that with our little dots. With this piece, the other piece, I'm literally going to do one inch there. I'm going to do this exactly the same. So that was um, three and a half halfway, come in five eighths there and there and I went to um sorry I can't remember where I did the so that one and that one so on this one this is the one we're going to use to put the holes in the signatures and I'm also just going to mark which was my top and bottom So that's all we need the scoreboard for. I've got um, an old fashioned phone book. And what I'm going to do next is just stab these holes. I'm going to do that all the way down and then I'm going to make them a touch bigger. And I'm going to do the same on the on this one. So I'll finish that and be back shortly. Okay, so stabbed all my holes, and now I've got my um, card here uh, with the holes stabbed through and my piece of fabric. And we are going to um, stick this piece of card in the centre of this fabric. And I'm going to use Fabri-Tac glue to do that. It doesn't really matter which side you use, but I'm going to use the flat side here. So if I can get the glue to come out. Oh, it's getting a bit thick, this glue. I need to put some acetone in it to um, loosen it up a bit. Anyway, let's see how we get on. I don't really want to stint too much on this. I want um, I don't want it seeping through um, the fabric to a great degree. It doesn't matter if a little bit seeps through. Get some of those um, sugar bell bottles I guess that everybody raves about. The trouble is when it's this gloopy by the time you get to the end of the glue in the bits that you did at the beginning are starting to dry because this dries really quickly. You could use um, PVA for this as well but I thought I'd stick with the Fabri-Tac this time. that should do it and again I'm just going to use do this by eye um, you could draw lines at the center of fabric um, but we'll leave it like that so that's that one and then once that's dry I'm get it straight once that's dry, I'm going to go back through and push the holes back through into my fabric. Okay, it's better. it is better to wait till that dries a little bit. And then to make the um, holes in my signatures, I'm taking this piece, folding it down that centre line got my holes here. If I open this, 
the fatter this is the better this is not really fat enough but I want to rest my um, signature in there I put my template I guess we'll call it in there and just go through those holes I'm just holding this firmly at the top um, with my fingers so that's the first signature you won't be able to see but the holes go right the way through if you want to make them a touch bigger you can but um, they're probably fine okay so that's one I'll show you again open that up pop that right into the crease here hold it firmly and just take your pokey tool or your awl, whatever you've got, and go through the pages. Yep. So I do that on all of them. Let's do another one while you're while you're here. Let's do another one. Into the crease, just even that up. That was um, Sometimes that happens, you get a page that is just a touch bigger, so I'm just centralising it. And I'm using my template the same way up every time, which is why I put the top on, the, the T on for top. Um, so I'm going to finish those. I'm going to poke through these holes on here um, and then we'll start stitching. Okay. Okay, so this um, now is the fiddliest bit. So we've got our spine piece with our holes and I've got um, a tapestry needle. Um, I don't know what size this is. It's quite bent actually because I've forced this one through quite thick cardboard. So it's bent the eye, but it should still work okay for this. Um, and I've got five lengths of um, waxed linen thread and I tend to use this Coates Barber uh, number 25 cord three. It's quite a thin wax thread, um, which I like to use rather than a thicker one. Um, so I'm gonna thread my needle, hopefully. my eye is a bit squashed this bit is a bit tricky there we go this length of thread is um, I cut it three to four times the length of um, my spine so in this case about 20 inches 25 something like that so I'm taking my first signature I'm going to work backward it doesn't really matter which way you work so I've got the top there I double check again that my um, book is the right way up and I go through the centre hole and in this first row I go through the centre hole. Okay. When I get to this point I hold this with my thumb and I'm going, I'm going to go up so I go through this next one and through the hole in the spine uh, yeah in the signature sorry so I've got that arrangement and then I'm going to go down this one and through this one this is where you have to fiddle a bit try and keep your thumb as much as you can on this thread and then you don't you don't pull it all the way through um, I'm just pulling that relatively taut so that's where we are at the moment and then I'm going to go back into this hole here and I'm hoping at this point that this is going to work and come straight up but it rarely does initially so just go back to here there we go just ease it through okay and pull that taut so we've got one stitch here and on the back. Now I'm going to miss this hole and go into this one and through the corresponding one on my spine piece. Again pull that taut and then 
to the bottom and through the bottom here. Sometimes what you have to do at this point, if it doesn't, if it's not going smoothly, take your awl and just check that everything is lined up. It is, but I'm just going to make that hole a touch bigger. Okay. Back to my thread. And there we go. It's up through there. Okay. Just tighten it gently. I'm going to go back down this one. And then I'm going to come back up in the middle. But I want my thread to come up on the opposite side to where the first one is. So let's see if we can make that work. Sometimes again, this is a little bit of a fiddle, particularly on the first signature, because things have shifted slightly. So I'm coming up on the wrong side here. So I'm just gonna hook that over my needle, pull that up, take my needle off, and I'm just gently easing that. And I hold this and I make sure that everything is tight on the back. And for this simple journal, I'm just going to do a reef knot, which is um, left over right and under, right over left and under. Pull that fairly tight and just clip it off. I do like to leave a little bit of a safety net. Um, you can always put a dab of glue on there as well. So that is the first signature sewn in. So I'm going to go through it again. Um, obviously at this point, if you want to fast forward or go on to the next video, I think once I've stitched these in, um, I'll do a part six for the gluing in. So if you can bear to watch me thread a needle again. It doesn't want to go through. So we take our second signature, we make sure we're the right way up and that this is the right way up. It is, so through the middle. And we're going just this next one along, through the middle. It does get a bit more fiddly the more signatures you have in. But my advice would be just to take your time at this stage. Um, Take it slowly. So we're going back down the top hole and the top one here. Just ease that back through. I mean, to be honest, there are loads of videos on um, YouTube showing you how to do this. So search around if, if this isn't clear enough. I'm trying to make it clear but it's not. It's quite hard to show really. So I've come up through that one then I'm going to go miss the middle hole, go back down this one and into here. You can always tighten everything up afterwards if we've got loose bits. Now I've gone wrong there. So let's go back. you see what I've done? I've come, I've gone back up the wrong hole. So let's get that out. Now I've got to thread my needle again. So I'm very happily telling you all to take your time and you won't make mistakes. <laughs> Nobody's perfect. So it's this one we're coming up into. Back down, miss the middle one, go back down the fourth hole and that corresponding one there. Down to the bottom and through the bottom here. Just ease that all tight because we did mess that up a little bit, or I did, sorry, not we. 
go back down this one and then back through the middle that's just being a little bit awkward so I'm just easing it through there I need it to come up the other side to my original I hope that was visible just ease that hold those and check that those are tight my glue wasn't quite dry so I've messed that up slightly but that won't matter things like that are fine so right over, left over right and under right over left and under I'm assuming that everyone is familiar with a reef knot um, I was a girl guide I did a lot of reef knots so that's signature two I'm just going to re-glue this bit because I don't want, um, I like it to look neat and tidy and all be the same. So I'm just using a bit of PVA actually on there. I'll just hold that down. Um, at this stage, I do leave the um, paper clips on, but you can see that we've got two signatures attached. So I'm going to do the other three um, and then uh, we'll get it glued into the spine. 